All right, Kobe. First question comes from Q I L L Quill, I guess. Uh, Quill wants to know you're on death row and about to be executed. What's your last meal? So what Quill is asking is, if you can have one meal, your very last meal. What would it be? Hmm. He said he would love to eat a steak very slowly. Oh. Using a knife and fork and then really just savoring and enjoying his last steak. Okay, next question、uh, from Mr. A wants to know how long does it take to recover from an event?、Uh, do you digest all the food? If you do digest, I imagine it's not very comfortable. How long does it take to return your body to an equilibrium? It depends on the food. 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 He said it really depends on the food, but if he has four days, he could say with anything, he, could, he will probably go back to normal. He said something that was very interesting was that the other day when he broke the turkey record,、um, it took a long time to digest that. He wasn't sure why, but there are surprising things that happen like that. You know, I'll skip, I'll skip one right now because it kind of brings、uh, follow up to that question.、Uh, Myth1n wants to know what was the most difficult item you've had to eat for a contest? Or an event so far. The most difficult thing he's ever eaten is cow brains. He said it wasn't that it was just difficult, he found it difficult in kind of a dangerous way. The way it looks, the way it tastes, and the way it smells, all of them were dumb it, as he says in Japanese, which is just out of the question, he said. <laughs> Which is good, good leeway into a question from Hideous Infant.、It、says, How much does flavor impact your performance? Is there any food that you have difficulty eating due to your distaste for it? He said, if, he, if you focus too much on the taste, then you know that, that you are not completely there, and then you begin to taste the item more. But if you, he says, he knows that he's completely focused when he's able to not taste that. He said, when he's in his best form and he knows that he's doing very well and he knows that he's done well after the contest, is when he doesn't remember what it tastes like the most. That's when he, he knows he was really in it. He said,、um, many times when he's tasted, he says, at times when he has tasted、uh, the food, he's noticed that that was when he was not in his best form, and later it had become the reason why he became nauseated by the, the smell or the taste. So,、um, yes. You know, I'll, I'll just add something in that you've talked about in, in other interviews before is、um, the importance, not so much taste or flavor. But texture and temperature? Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes. Uh, he said definitely,、uh, he always likes to keep things warm. So, 
as water, or even uh, if he drinks water, he'd like warm. He tries to make sure that he has warm things in his stomach because his stomach um, will want to um, retract if it drinks cold things, which is not good for the stretching of it. So that is how he keeps himself uh, the way he does. He said, for instance, if you're trying to put, if he's trying to put 10 pounds of something down in his body and it's very cold, he said his body will completely、uh, become cold and then it will, it, it will, um, you know, it's a little bit. Just because it's cold, he said his whole body will start shaking. So that's the difference between being able to、uh, keep it warm and keep it cold.、Uh, a lot of people were asking about、um, your preparation. So It's Slim asks How do you prepare for a competition? Is it better to eat a lot beforehand or to practically starve yourself? <laughs> てる必要はないので、あの、あんまたくさん、この、お腹を空かせるっていう必要はないんだけど、だけど、胃の中に食べ物がないことと、あとは、腸の中に食べ物がないことがすごく大切なので、一日ぐらいは食べるのをやめるとか、食べる量を少なくするっていうのは大切かなと思ってます。He said, it's not important to be completely hungry, but, Um, it's important to not have too much in the stomach and in the intestine. So,、um, that's the really only concern. But his focus is not to be completely hungry or starving himself. First in the sea,、uh, was asking、uh, if you have any regret、uh, about the arrest. <laughs> あの、コンペティションに出てる自分を見たかったっていう人に対しては、ああ、なんか、それができなかったから残念だったなっていう気持ちがあります。あの、he said, the only thing he can say in the sense of remorse would be that he only feels sad or a, a bit apologetic to the people who, the fans who had come on that day and had hoped to see him on stage to eat as they had done many years before that because he's sure that he had Certainly let him down, let them down that day. でも、その代わりに、あの、いろいろな自分で選んだコンペティションに出れるようになったこととか、こうやって、ここで質問に答えたりとかっていう、いろんなチャンスができたので、特には後悔してないですね。であとは、なんだろう。そもそも、あの、コンペティションには、お弁に行って、で、周りの、その、オーディエンスの人たちから、あの、こう、こんばんに食べさせろっていう声が大きく上がって、それで興奮しちゃって、上にステージ登っちゃって、そしたら、あの、ホットドッグの会社が、あの、警察に彼を捕まえなさいって言って、あの、捕まえられちゃっただけなので、僕は、まあ、あの、興奮してたので、あの、何もプランディングしてないので、後悔もできないです。He said,、uh, in the sense of re- regret, he really has none because he, of the chances and the opportunities that came to him because of that happening. And also the, the fact that he's able to sit here today and speak to us on Reddit. And、um, he said, all of those chances came about because of that, that happening on that day.、Um, he also said, That because it, there was nothing at all planned about how things were going to happen and the rest, that he, had no, he has no way of regretting it. He said it, it wasn't intentional, it was all by chance that that happened.、Um, and he was there to, to answer to people, he was there because he needed to go, but also because the fans who were screaming, let him eat, let him eat, he said, I, he said before you know it, I was just so excited by being there amongst those fans. and His feet were on stage, he was there, you know, it was, it was really such,、um, such a surprising moment that there's, how can he regret? 